the genesis of the Santa Fe Opera. The Santa Fe Opera, located seven miles north of the capital city, was founded in 1956 by John Crosby, who retained the position of director until the year 2000. Crosby, who died in 2002, had the unique distinction because of his 44 tenure as being the longest running general director of an opera company in the United States. Crosby also conducted many of the operas at Santa Fe's breathtaking outdoor venue. A production of Puccini's Madame Butterfly was the inaugural opera that took place on July 3, 1957. Since that time, Santa Fe's Opera House has become world-renowned for introducing new operas, as well as beloved operas from past centuries. In the last 49 years, the Santa Fe Opera has produced both American and international premieres and has brought together some of the world's leading performers, musicians, and conductors like Igor Stavinsky, who is considered one of the great composers of the 20th century. 1967 was a memorable year at the Santa Fe Opera. During the premiere of Paul Hinmit's Cardillac, a fire broke out and the stage was burned to the ground. Desperate to find a location for the 10-year-old opera company, John Crosby negotiated with the Santa Fe School Board to host its next production of The Barber of Seville at Santa Fe High's Sweeney Gym. In a serendipitous turn of fate, a capacity crowd of 1,300 locals attended the performance in a show of support. The performance drew favorable reviews in both the New York Times and Musical America magazine. The opera performed the remainder of the season at the Santa Fe High School Gym on Marcy Street, where the City of Santa Fe Tourism Center is located today. For both Santa Feans and visitors alike, the beautiful landscape that surrounds the Santa Fe Opera is spiritually in sync with the music, performances, and the camaraderie that opera goers enjoy during the pre-performance tailgating parties. This is Anna Pacheco with Threads of Santa Fe History.